So yeah, we got a talk box in our door and this tube is just extra for fun and for <laughs> realism. Uh, I went to the hardware store, got some plastic tube and then this thing taped them together. And now I can slide it into the mic I'm using, which is a really cheap Behringer measurement microphone. So I just... And then if I want the authentic feel, I put and I go crazy. But yeah, so let's do it without talkbox effect on your digital audio workstation with plugins. And I'm using Anktube, of course, as my input going into the vocoder. And yeah, it sounds So yeah, we can do it without and first of all, let me show you the setup. So I have Amplitube or in your case you can use whatever guitar plugin you want i use amplitude as we know you can get uh, if you don't know you can get the free version of ik multimedia side and then a free plugin tal vocoder uh, i'll probably have the link in the description you can get this one from there and then we make a channel i have one here let's put them actually closer together so I have a channel here and that is where my microphone, vocal microphone goes to. So that input on my uh, interface is chosen for the tall track where the vocoder is as a plugin. And then we in Studio One are going to let's take Make this a little bit of, we're gonna take the sidechain option here and we are going to choose amplitude and then on the Talavo coder we're gonna do that so choose that option and after doing those steps so recap amplitude on one channel, tall vocoder, and your microphone on another channel, and then side chain, choose the amplitude, click on tall here, and choose that side chain. All right, and that's how you set it up. And after you've set it up, you can start playing with me. Yeah, as simple as that so yeah that's the basics and uh, then of course because i can and i'd like to let's see a few other ones and these are actually we have uh, this, this one Ooh. The setup is pretty much the same. Yeah. So, so again, we sidechain, take the amplitude, and then put the both of them on, like that. And then we have. Yeah, oh, come on, yeah, we have a good one, yeah. I actually like this one a little bit more than the tall one, yeah. Come on, how do you feel? Do you feel like we do? All right. All right. A 
little bit over the top there, but um, and I hit a few bomb notes. But I actually do really like the Ovox stereo for this. So this is the Waves. And you can, of course, do lots of other cool stuff. All right, and then we have Isotope Vocal Sim. And we do the same thing. Pretty much the same effect. I mean, a really fun one. This one also, you can find this one on sale yeah, uh, quite often. And it doesn't, it's not that expensive. I like it. And of course, you can do a lot more stuff with the vocal synth. So you can actually, I think you have to up, put this mode on. But then, of course, if you'd want, you could do MIDI with this. And then uh, I think we need to apply this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can just pull out my keyboard here and start playing chords and do stuff with it. And this of course works with the other, uh, those other ones I al already all showed you. So, but then uh, for last but not least, uh, let's check the uh, Amplitubes uh, Amplitubes uh, native one, uh, the vocoder. Sounds like blouse like this, and it isn't bad either. Let's see if they have this like fun presets but let's do that but just add a little bit of reverb just for fun so let's hear that hey yeah 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 ooh 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 All right. And the setup is of course the same. Uh, yeah, you just side chain here on Studio One and put Amplitude in. And you can do this in, you can do this stuff in any DAW. You just have to figure out how to do that little routing. And uh, I could show that in uh, Ableton as well. So, Let's do that at the end here. All right. Okay, so let's do it in Ableton. Uh, we have a vocal track here, microphone selected. We can see audio is coming in here and we're gonna use Ableton's vocoder. Here we go. Just drag it, drag it in there and we don't want to hear that so then of course go to my plugins take amplitude drag it here wait for it to load up There we go. Then take that off. 
let's go to our vocal channel we will choose carrier external audio from audio to turn this to order and then we'll have so there we go, it's as simple as that. But I'll show you a few tricks that I like to do. So one of them is coming here and putting a limiter before the vocoder. There we go. And then also, I usually like to put a compressor also before there, like that. Let's turn the ratio up and then let's hear how it sounds like. There we go. So what's happening is we should not be clipping so hard. Let's put actual, then we can see the compression is going on. So here we go. Let's hear that again. Yeah, I got some vocoder sound now. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Then uh, let's apply effects to taste. Let's put some. There we go. Quite heavy. All right. And then we have this. Yeah. That's it. We're done here. Let me know <laughs> if I was clear in the comments. If something wasn't clear, I'll I'll make a better video. All right. Have fun. I'm off. Bye.